You know, Splatoon 3's been around for two years now, at least at the time of my recording this, but there is one thing that absolutely infuriates me every time I play this game, and I've held off on talking about it until now. Three words. The matchmaking system. For those who don't know, Splatoon 3's matchmaking system works as follows. Every weapon in the game has an internal matchmaking value. If you're playing in solo queue, you get matched up with three other players that have similar matchmaking values. The game divides the total by four, and then pairs you up with, or I guess against, a team with a similar matchmaking average. But therein lies the problem. Just how big is this average? Based on what I've seen in Splatoon 3 over the course of two years of solo queue, I'd like to think the matchmaking range is small. Because I may fight a bunch of different people in the span of a single 24-hour period, but they'll be playing the exact same weapons, and I get tired of it every single time. There's no chance for me to experiment either, because even when I swap weapons, it'll always be one that counters my own. And hey, maybe that's just my bad. Maybe I need to get better at countering weapons that are good against my mains. But the point still stands. Would it kill Nintendo just to have a little bit of variety in the matchmaking? Somehow! I have actually been thinking about ways for potential matchmaking improvements in the next Splatoon game, and of course that all depends on if Nintendo decides to make it a third-person shooter to begin with. The best option, in my opinion, is to get rid of the matchmaking values entirely. Make it completely random. That's the best way to offer variety every time you play the game, so that way you're not going up against a gold arrow spray, a vanilla hydra, or heck, even a vanilla splatter shot for the five millionth time. Another option is to increase the range of the matchmaking values. Because like I said, if the matchmaking average system is really specific, it needs to be more broad to begin with. Or range blasters, yeah, that too. The third option, and this is probably the most obvious one, is to make a different game entirely, you know? You know how much I would love a tactical shooter Splatoon game. Like XCOM or Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope. A tactical Splatoon game would be amazing! Then we wouldn't have to worry about online matchmaking stuff. And yeah, Subspace brings up a good point. Matches get really stale really quickly with the very specific matchmaking system and how little there are patches. So it's like you're forced to play one specific weapon all the time. It's like the game is punishing me for experimenting, and I don't want that. For a game that focuses about a, a variety of different weapons, Splatoon 3 has very little variety, and I hate that! Playing solo queue is a nightmare? Yeah, it really is, because of those points I mentioned. Now granted, if you have a group of friends with you and you want to all charge into turf together, it's not as bad, because at least you'll have fewer players to match up against, and the game will pair you up that way. Bottom line, Whatever happens with the next Splatoon game, I just want Nintendo to learn from their mistakes. I want them to improve the matchmaking. Whether it be making a different genre of the series, making the matchmaking system more specific, or just getting rid of the current system in general. This, in my opinion, is Splatoon 3's greatest flaw, and it desperately needs to be changed. If Nintendo went off weapon class only for matchmaking, it would be so much better. So that way you can't have three gold arrow sprays on one team. That's an interesting way to think about it, Fanta. I've never heard it spoken like that. You might be onto something there, to be honest. I'm just trying to figure out any other ways that the matchmaking can be improved, if any.
you had no idea matchmaking worked like that because you just focus on strategy and having fun. That's what I try to do too. But sometimes it's just so dang hard. I want to enjoy my game, not get curb stomped. I don't want to have to constantly learn how to counter the weapons that are good against my mains. Sometimes I just want to load up the game for a few minutes, mess around with whatever weapon I'm interested in at the moment, maybe get some badges, I don't know. It really just depends on what happens. But yeah, I hope you guys get where I'm coming from. This is just something that's been boiling in me for like a year and a half. 